What is going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to yet another video. My name is Anthony Pinto da Costa and you are watching Canadian Physio Student. So if you're watching this right now, you probably recently got rejected from physiotherapy school. And I know the feeling must be terrible right now, especially due to the fact that you put in so much work during your undergrad, maybe it was a master's, PhD, or a whole other career. And I know getting into physiotherapy school here in Canada right now probably seems like a completely unattainable goal. And I totally understand that. With all that said, I wanna reassure you that it is not over for you. I wanna reassure you that you can still get into physiotherapy school here in Canada, I promise. And I urge you that if this is something that you truly want, do not give up on this just yet. And I know what you're thinking right now, what is this guy possibly gonna to say to convince me or motivate me to stay the course and reapply next year? And I'm gonna counter that by saying, one, I'm gonna try my best, and two, I'm not gonna do this alone. That's right, I got a team behind me that's gonna help convince you to reapply to physio school next application cycle. And how exactly am I gonna do that? Well, about a month ago, I posted in our Queen's Physiotherapy Facebook group page, just asking for people who applied multiple times to physiotherapy school to reach out to me and just provide a little bit of advice for people who got rejected this year. And I wanted to do this so that you guys can get some ideas on what you're gonna do during your year off if you're gonna reapply next year. And I also wanted to show you that it is not uncommon to apply multiple times to physio school before you actually finally get in. So without further ado, I'm just gonna read exactly what these people messaged me. I had about 14 people reach out to me, so get comfortable here. All right, so the first one here is by a guy named Josh Hunter, one of my classmates, one of my good friends. He applied three times before getting into physio school. And what he has to say is, don't let a rejection or waitlist letter get you down. I have been there and it sucks, but don't give up. If PT is what you want to do, stick with it. I received multiple waitlist offers from multiple universities over two long years. I was ready to give up, but convinced myself to give it one last go. I took the time to take a few more courses online and gain volunteer experience in multiple settings with different populations. Applying the third time is definitely a charm. After all my hard work and perseverance, I finally got that acceptance letter. Adversity isn't easy, but when you finally succeed, the wait is worth it. Appreciate that, Josh. This next one here is by another one of my classmates, Evelyn Graham. She applied two times to physio school before getting in. And she said, when I first found out I didn't get in, I was pretty heartbroken. But looking back with hindsight, not getting in the first time was a blessing in disguise. I gained a lot of practical experience, had great mentors, and it motivated me a lot more to apply again because I really wanted it. I think everything comes to you at the right time, so be patient and work hard in the meantime. Thanks, Adam. This next one is from a first year student named Sandeep Soroya. He applied three times before getting in, and he said, my advice is to question yourself why you applied to physio in the first place. Then knowing the fact that many people who attend physiotherapy school do not get in on their first try. Very true. My advice for those who really want to pursue this dream is to take the year to advance your learning and clinical experience. Schools have begun to take more holistic approach, which gives an advantage to those who seek experience in the profession before applying. As for personal submissions, it's important to understand the profession before you write about why you're a good candidate. Admission committees have gotten a lot better at identifying people who actually have experience versus those who just apply for the hell of it. Thanks, Sandeep. This next one here is from second year student, Nicole Carnival. She applied two times before getting in. And she says, in caps, don't give up. Getting rejected from PT school may seem like a huge roadblock, but just know that this is a very minor event in the grand scheme of life. I like that. If PT is truly something you are passionate about, try again. Trust me, it will make that acceptance letter so much better. In the meantime, take some time to reflect on your application and use the next years to better yourself. Whether it be taking courses or getting more experience within the diverse physiotherapy profession. Use the resources you have, such as your professional slash academic references, to get guidance and advice about moving forward. I had amazing PT mentors who believed in me and helped me get through the tough time. 
Most importantly, use your support system around you to help motivate you to try again. Family members and friends. Thank you, Nicole. Next one here is from Carrie Ford, first year physiotherapy student here at Queens. She applied two times before getting in. And she says, a phrase from my dad that I frequently repeat to myself is, everything works out. If you don't get into PT this time, use it as a way to reassess your goals. As cliche as it sounds, try to use the negative experience as a learning experience. After my first rejection, I used that emotion, I'm not gonna lie, it really was a bummer, to plan out how I would do better for the next time I applied. So relevant physio experience, additional certifications, various mentors, things like that. This in turn actually made me more convinced that PT was the only thing I wanted to do with my life. She then goes on to say, maybe this time just wasn't your time, it doesn't mean it will never be your time if you truly believe that PT is your future. Some hard hitting words here by Carrie. Next one here is from MJ, Matt Johnson. He's a first year physiotherapy student. He applied three times. He had 10 applications in three years with one offer. So put that into perspective. And here's what Matt says. It absolutely sucks, no doubt about it. It can feel like the end of the world, but if I had to guess, I would say the majority of people in our class have applied multiple times. It's food for thought there. If being a PT is something that you truly want, you need to do everything in your power to make your application better for the next year. For me specifically, that was working full time as a kin in a physio clinic while taking online courses to boost my GPA. And he only did this so that he could meet the GPA cutoff, which he didn't make in the previous two attempts. And then he went on to say, if you keep moving towards your goal, things will eventually work out if you keep striving for it. Thanks for that, MJ. Next one is from first year student, Stephen Milonis. He applied three times before getting in. He's got a long one here. His advice is stay in the course, believing yourself, but having a strategic plan or approach for the next cycle. Carefully analyzing why you didn't get in. Was a GPA? If so, dedicate time to taking courses to boost to a competitive GPA. Was a physio related experience? If so, dedicate some time in your life over the next six to 12 months, volunteering in something that you didn't currently have, such as a neuro or cardio rest related experience. Because a lot of people don't have that. Was it a combo of the two? Plan out the next year starting with the summer, take on one to two volunteer experiences and or one to two part-time courses, making sure that you can get an A or an A plus. And then he said, for me personally, I was working at the time and had to choose what was most important and balance those accordingly. He didn't want to leave his job um, of personal training. And then he said, although it took a few tries, I just always thought that it was going to happen. Never trying to get too stressed about it. Try to keep a positive outlook knowing that I'll work on improving, but also saving money for my job for when I do get in. He then goes on to say, if it doesn't work out, call the faculty, ask them if they have any suggestions on improving your application. A lot of people are definitely intimidated to call and ask about these things, but you don't know unless you try. He said he called and asked what would benefit his application and received great feedback for improving on the next cycle. And then lastly here he says, ask someone who has gone through the process and pick their brain. They were successful, so you may learn a thing or two. Someone such as a physio or someone in PT school, they can provide some priceless feedback on your application. Mine improved significantly when I had someone in PT school proofread it. Appreciate all that. The next one here is from Sarah Dorsey, another one of my classmates, and she applied three times before getting in. And she says, the main thing is, is if this is what you really want, do not give up. But with that, make sure that if you are applying again, you have done something to change your application each time you apply. She then went on to say that she would apply anywhere in Canada as long as you have the prereqs, and then said, I applied three times after the first time I went back to school for another semester to bump up my GPA. After the second time, I got a job as a PTA and had the PT I was working with be my new reference. And then lastly, also, there really doesn't have to be a rush. She applied three times and was 33 when she started physio school. Thanks for all that, Sarah. Next one here is from another one of my classmates, Avery Michaels. She applied two times before getting in and she said, it may feel very disappointing right now and like there is nothing you can do about the situation you find yourself in. But based on these feelings, you need to just keep working towards the goal of becoming a PT since you know that it's worth it. 
Do what you need to do to help your application in the time you have, but do things that you want to do, not just for the sake of doing them. Take classes of interest, seek out opportunities for experience, but make sure that these are life experiences you want to have as well. You have a year to do more and be more. In the end, multiple application cycles aren't anything to be held against as a candidate. Some schools even like to see multiple applications as it shows commitment to the profession. Avery then went on to tell me a little bit about her story. She said she went through two application cycles. The first cycle was accepted to two OT programs and waitlisted at a PT program. She said she was accepted to an OT position at the University of Toronto, but withdrew a month before school started as she decided that it really wasn't what she wanted to do and that likely it was better uh, for somebody else to have the opportunity to be in her position. She then spent the year working with Health Canada and volunteering. And then the second application cycle, she got into Queens and it worked out in the end because uh, she got to return home and then just do physio from there. So thanks for all that again, Avery. Next one here is Katie Lynn Cowell. She's a first year physiotherapy student here at Queens and she applied two times before getting into physio school. And she says, not getting in your first or even second time does not make you any less qualified or capable of succeeding in the program. The best physiotherapists are those who are patient, humble, hardworking, persevering, and resilient. No matter what, keep telling yourself that you will get in. Keep fighting and build your resume and experiences. It is worth the wait. There's a good reason it didn't happen the first time. So trust yourself and trust your fate. Appreciate that, Kate. Next one here is from my man, Alex Dirksen, one of my classmates. He applied two times before getting in. And he says, getting a decline letter on my birthday while traveling was one of the most difficult days of my life. It's tough. It was a career that I felt so passionate about, but it seemed as though my dream was taken away from me on a day where celebration was presumed inevitable. After taking time to digest my thoughts and feelings of the current situation, I instead took it as an opportunity to grow, aka growth mindset. I knew that my GPA was right on the border for that year's acceptance, so rather than taking more courses, I felt as though it was more valuable to gain further experience in many physio-related areas where I could think of. This wasn't an action just to improve my application, but to solidify if I truly wanted to be a PT or not. I then gained additional volunteer and work experience in hospital, private neuro clinics, private MSK practice, leading senior rehab exercises, and promoting health and wellness for children and adults with autism and other developmental disabilities, which truly gave me a broader perspective of what physiotherapy is. From my written application, I knew firsthand that physiotherapy treated the body, or the bio side of things, but I also came from a psychology background and witnessed the importance of the psychosocial factors for human health. This revelation that the human body is, well, human, rather than looking at it as a machine, is what I based my essay on. I then combined this holistic or biopsychosocial approach to rehab for the human body with the Canadian physiotherapy competencies. And then he just lists the competencies, something I've talked about in one of my videos before, to illustrate what I believe to be the future of physiotherapy. Lastly, try to be authentic and convey your core values of being a passionate healthcare professional. Thanks, Mr. Dirksen. We got a few last ones here. So this next one here is by Jessica Craig, another one of my classmates. She applied three times before getting in and she said, I know being rejected is disappointing. I had a little cry when I received those letters regretfully informing me that I was not accepted to the program. But then I got over it and I didn't give up. You now have the opportunity to improve your GPA, gain some work or volunteer experience and think about what you want your future to look like. You have so much time in this life to achieve your goals. Be resilient. If this is what you truly want, try again. Thanks for that, Jess. Next one here is Kate Moffitt. She actually graduated just last year, so she is a practicing physio right now. And she applied two times before getting in. And Kate's story is this. I applied to physio school twice. The first time, I did not receive any interview invites and did not get placed on any wait list. I was crushed. I had just finished seven, yes, seven, years of undergraduate study completing two degrees. My advice though, and what I told myself, is that anything in life worth having is worth a second attempt. If after one attempt and what feels like a failure, you're willing to give up, did you really want it badly anyway? Not getting in the first time does not mean that you are not smart, 
that you didn't work hard enough or that you wouldn't be a great physio. It just means that there are lots of other people out there who are also hardworking and smart and have unique qualities and this was their year and their time. Take some time to feel the disappointment because it's okay to feel that way and then make a list of all your strengths. After you make a list of all your weaknesses, attack those. Increase your GPA, diversify your volunteer experience, get feedback on your admission essays, and then reapply. Failure is just a speed bump on the road to success. Learn from this experience and use it to grow, learn, and motivate yourself. If it's worth having, it's worth trying again. Thanks for that, Kate. And now I got one last one for you guys here. This person decided to stay anonymous and they applied two times before getting into physio school. And what they have to say is never give up. I can personally emphasize how awful rejection is after years of hard work, effort, and sacrifice of time lost from social slash family life, etc. However, this is just one hiccup in the long run. Do not be discouraged and reapply. Most importantly, surround yourself with a strong support system during the time of rejection. I personally reflected on how I could better myself as an applicant. I worked on broadening my scope of experiences within physio as best as I could to increase my chances of success. If this is the only career that you've ever wanted for yourself, then do not give up. Put in the maximal effort to ensure that you have done everything you could possibly do to successfully enter the program. The resilience it takes to fail, try again, and succeed is a huge life lesson that is incredibly rewarding in the end. Great things take time. I truly think I entered and succeeded through this program differently after experiencing rejection on my initial try. Thanks for that. All right, people, so that is all I got for you today. I really hope all these messages have definitely motivated you to reapply if you were thinking of not applying again this year. And I really hope that it also gave you some advice on what you can do during your year off to help strengthen your application. So guys, if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and of course, smash that subscribe button. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section down below, whether it be positive or negative, it doesn't matter to me, I'm open to all of them. And if you don't wanna do that, you can reach out to me on my Instagram, at cdnphysiostudent, and we can go from there. All right, so like I said, that's all I got for you today, and I will see you at the next video. Another day, another dollar to be made I'm a workaholic, ballin' hard until the grave Used to wanna be a baller for the NBA Till the fellas round me started dunking in the 7th grade